जयपुर अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत हेलो एंड वेलकम टू क्रिक बस कॉम्बॉक्स एट द हाफ वेस्ट Hello and welcome to Crick Buzz Live. Just not used to coming on this early, yeah, because that's what has happened today. It's done and it's dusted. Delhi's got the two points and they have got a massive booster shot with their net run rate. That's right. The net run rate is perhaps in orbit right now. They have done it in 8.5 overs. Uh, this is the day that Gujarat would want to forget, and they'd want to forget this in a hurry. Uh, they were all out for 89. They were put into bat first by Rishabh Pant. Uh, there was some brilliant bowling. There was some brilliant work behind the stumps by Rishabh himself. Uh, and then Delhi went out to chase it in the way that we predicted them to. It was uh, going hell for leather. They did lose four wickets in the process, but uh, they were never really going to be in any trouble getting this done with 11 overs and one ball to spare. They have won by six wickets. Well, uh, as I said, this is Crick Buzz Live. I'm Gaurav Kapoor with me, Adam Gilchrist and Joy Bhattacharya. Uh, I'm not the only one shocked after today. I think the whole Gujarat camp, mm. Delhi fans happily shocked. Uh, yep. Gujarat fans not so happily shocked. This, this has been, uh, it, I think a fair summation would be a day that Gujarat would want to forget and a day that Delhi would not want to forget. No, that's accurate. Very <laughs> accurate. Uh, It's the day Delhi have been hoping for for a while, and uh, so now three wins, so they can, yeah, well, just not just get that win, but th just that, that sense of uh, positivity around the group and momentum yeah. to to move forward with now. So, uh, yeah, it was just a magical day. I mean, some days you yeah. just turn up and it's like that. And, and on the flip side, as you say, it's GT. Um, a real shame for them that it's at home. Yeah. In front of obviously such a big stadium, it's hard to fill that up, yeah. you know, seven times through a season. But it wasn't the biggest of big crowds, and then they walk away really yeah. disappointed, disillusioned. Who knows what that means next time yeah, they play exactly. there? Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, let's just talk about Delhi, right? Because not much has gone right for Delhi uh, this season. They've had injuries. I mean, first Harry Brook before the season began said he won't be coming uh, for his reasons. Mitch Marsh gets injured. David Warner gets injured. When you look back at the auction, at that time, these three would have been part of a starting eleven, perhaps. No, exactly. Uh, right. I think that's a big thing. And the other thing is that Nokia just going off the boil. Yeah. And it has. He's a retained player for them. He's Correct. A, so they, so their first four choice foreigners, all not available. Yeah. Mm. And I think that is a big thing for them. From there to battle back, and I think one of the big things about this win is. It's a bowling effort win because mm. they did it with their bowlers, yeah. bowlers and fielders. You know, some one brilliant piece of fielding as well. But I think the other important thing is they did it with Indian bowlers. Yeah. Khalil bowled well up front. Ishan got a wicket up front. The two spinners came and put pressure. Tristan Stubbs got the ball and took took wickets. Yeah. Everyone did well with the ball, and that their bowlers having confidence is big for them because the way this team is designed. They will need to have if Warner comes back, he will slot into the top order as an international batsman. Yeah, and if Delhi can somehow manage to have a situation where they are playing continuously three internationals or four internationals on top, then it will make a huge difference to them. If their bowlers start delivering, yeah, they can play more international batters. Yeah, Gilly, I just talk about we talk we'll talk about the bowling of course, but I want to talk specifically about the fielding, right? It's how yeah. a team can put pressure on the batting side by great fielding. That great catch by Rishabh. Jeez, I mean that. You look at that catch and you can't imagine that 15 months ago this boy was in an accident which required so much putting together, right? Yeah. You can't. That's one. Sumit's run out. Yeah, right. Just how much can a team get galvanized by two pluck out of thin air dismissals like that? Well, it just sets a standard, sets a a theme for the day, for the night. Uh, And look, I'm, I'm not surprised. I, I, I reckon you could take with certainty that through the this real roller coaster ride that they've been on, and, and 
Well, so what are they now? Three and four. Yeah, but, three but, wins, four losses. Yeah, yes. and a couple of whopping losses, but a consistent theme through their training from Ricky, knowing him as I do, would have just been hard work individually with with your prefer or well, your priority skill, mm. bat or ball. But in the fielding, they would have been nailing it, working so hard. Yeah, because he was exactly that. Every his motto was every day he turned up to training. He just wanted to improve on something. Yeah. And typically, I mean, his batting was pretty good um, and he didn't bowl a lot, but so his fielding, he would go out and just absolutely do everything. So he would have been drilling that team really heavily in the fielding component because it's amazing how when, to your point, and it's spot on, GK, is you get that right, it's amazing how other things fall into place. Yeah. And we know miss fields, drop catch early, Oh, here we go. The bowls are, oh, here we go again. So, uh, and that that's a, a thing that Ricky learnt from Bob Simpson as coach of Australia, you know, late 80s, early 90s when Ricky, well, early 90s by the time Ricky came in. Um, so that their legacy sort of legacies that are passed on. Mm. So it, it's not the be all and end all, we know, but gee, it can have a big impact in a game of such fine margins. Mm. Typically, not so much a fine margin today, but it, yeah. it, it set it up beautifully for them. Yeah, but in general, we talk about all these teams being so close to each other mm. that some of these magic moments can really kind of shift the whole tide towards one team. And today, once it shifted, I, I think we can go all the way back to the first dismissal, Joy. Ever since Shubman came, went <laughs> early, and Shubman's been the one who's kind of, exactly. he's been their Bahubali, right? He's kind of been carrying mm. uh, this team in far, as far as the batting is concerned, got the majority of the runs for them. As soon as he went early, Ishant got him. It kind of just all went pear shaped. Yeah, absolutely. Him, Sai Sudarshan. And remember, both Saha and Miller are returning. Yeah. So both of them, of course, Miller went out to a great catch, but both of them are also not in the best of form. They've come out back from injury, niggles. Then they bat a wafer thing batting order yeah. with Tevati at six. Yeah. So there were a lot of signs even we saw before the game saying that this can go wrong. Not yeah. that it will go wrong, yeah. but it can go wrong. And I think that's the thing. I feel the way Gujarat plays its game, because it's not the most talented of squads, it's a high-risk, high-reward squad. Yep. So the day their top order comes off and Tewatia gives them something, they'll win. Mm. Their days, they will be blown out of the stadium as well. Yep. And yep. I think they have, I mean, they've optimised for that. And it, it works. Because if they don't have the greatest side, then they have to say that, I'll back one of these things. And they're backing bowling. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I, I, you're actually being generous because they got Shah Rukh Khan in as the impact sub. So that means you are batting then Rashid at so, eight, yeah. right? So you're batting how you guys suggested they should. And even that has not worked. Yeah. So they have some severe soul searching to do today. Oh, they sure do. I mean, that is... For everything that we've been saying and, and, and the, the cricketing world was saying about Delhi's huge losses to, you know, scores of 270 odd and... 240 or whatever it was from Mumbai. Yeah, 234. Uh, this is this is equally as a commanding performance and and shattering performance for confidence and mm. um, so yeah they've got to hunker down now GT and and work out what what their team is what their plan is exactly. are they going to continue that philosophy around ball is our strength we've got to double down on that or you know it's up to them that they, they know. Better than anyone, the players that they have at their disposal uh, within their squad. But um, yeah, a bit of soul searching there. What do you do? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've been part of teams. I mean, the IPL domestically, Australia not so much. Australia didn't have big losses uh, when, you, when the time you were in the squad. But when a, when a, when a just this is a this is one of those rare events when it happens. The GT squad would look at themselves and say, "We're all better batters than this." Yeah. Right. In fact, what do you? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to just add to that, and I want to give him a specific situation because I know he's been through that. So in 2010, okay, if I remember right, you guys were three and seven, okay. Mm -hmm. Punjab was no Deccan. 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 Yeah. They were three and seven. They won their last four and they qualified. Yep. In a row. Okay. Wow. So you were three and seven. What were you thinking? Uh, well, mathematically, it was still a chance. It's just a matter of breaking it down into small allotments. So this is. This is, it, it, when I say soul searching that GT have got to do, they, they need to, I mean, not panic and think that's the end of the, the season. The quicker they can move on and, I, and their coaching staff are going to have to show their experience and, and, and just say, look, let's analyse it, take what we can learn from it and then just push it out of our mind. So yeah. tomorrow might even be a better 
a day off, like clear your head, let's just not get the spirits too low. But yeah, back in those, in, in that run, it, it's just trying to break it down into small increments, um, never looking too far ahead. And that's through the whole tournament. You can't be looking at the top four and being bothered by it. There's no use being in the top four at the moment. It only matters in, in the, I mean, it's yeah. helpful. It means you're winning, but you don't need to panic if you're not. There's opportunity there. And look at Delhi now. They'll get their tail up. But, but I, I mean, I used to talk in game, breaking that down into four allotments, like what we do with our, our stats, you know, over the power play, then the yep. seven to ten, and, and so up four quarters. And so where I'm from, we play the game of Australian rules football, which is four quarters mm, broken down. Lovely. And they used to, the, the famous saying is the premiership quarter is the third quarter. So you can do some nice foundation work and, and, and the, the back end hopefully will look after itself but that the third quarter. So that, but whatever the case, just breaking it down into small increments and, and just so GT, learn what they can from this. Don't think anything further ahead than the, the next game, which I'm, I'm sure we'll touch on where they're headed next. And, yeah. uh, but but that's, that's it. And, and, and don't, just don't panic. Yeah. I think they're, they're, that's good advice. Don't panic. They've... Because, again, you think of 89 all out and all the batters, including Shubman Gill, will look at that and say, we're better than this. In fact, Shubman Gill will say, I'm individually better than yeah, this, yeah. right? I can do more than this myself. And I've done it so many times. Oh, you got how many hundreds in the last season? So, you know, you can. So, some days when you're outclassed, you just say, forget it was a bad dream and move on. Because they travel tomorrow. I, I looked at their schedule. Mm -hmm. And they travel tomorrow because they're on the road to Punjab. Then to Delhi again, so uh, it's a revenge in a week, yep. possibility of revenge in a week. I'm sure they'll have, uh, you know, they'll be excited about this game. But there's Punjab in three days, so which means possibly traveling tomorrow. Uh, then they go to Delhi, then they go to, to Bang. Uh, no, they, oh sorry, they come back home to play against uh, Bangalore. So Mind you, this is not a bad run. If you look at it from GT side, they're three and four. If you were to ask them sides they'd face in a row there, they wouldn't... Fair. It's not a. It's not the toughest schedule under the circumstances. Yep. None of the hot teams are there. You know, mm. there's no Rajasthan Royals. There's no Kolkata. Yeah. There's no Chennai. Yeah. It's a decent travelling schedule. Yeah. And you get two of these three wins. If you're two and one, also you become four and four. So you know, lots can happen. Yeah. Yep. If I was to just, uh, I mean, we look at the GT squad and the, and of course De where Delhi is going next. But first, I just want to show you what uh, the bowlers did today uh, for GT. Uh, sorry, we'll just bring that back and just show that, and then we'll too quick, man. You're too quick. Too quick. <laughs> Yeah, we'll take it. I know the match got over early, but you know, we got time. Uh, so there you go. They only needed the four bowlers today because, well, actually, Delhi only needed Gujarat to use four bowlers today because yeah. they got it done pretty uh, early. And you know, Rashid's got the one wicket. Sandeep Warrior, they really went after him. He got the two wickets. Uh, Spencer Johnson. Uh, it's, it's really. I don't uh, even know what we can discuss here. But I didn't mind the look of Warrior. Yeah, I was going to say that exact point. Sandeep Warrior. Um, a bit more of an experienced campaigner that I was aware of, nearly nearly 33 years of age. I think he's third franchise without ever really... Um, I remember Knight Riders. Who else? Uh, he was uh, in Mumbai. Mumbai also, was I, he? I think he was but, in Mumbai. Uh, but Mumbai. whatever the case, I, I saw something in there that I liked. Yeah. Um, so that might be something that, that they can utilise a bit more as the tournament goes on. In I, I know he ended up going at 13 and over, but I think you can just forget um, economy rate in that chase. We knew that... Delhi were always going to just be going flat out, no, you know, carefree. So, but um, yeah, some nice, nice pace. You got the, the, the wickets there, and um, yeah, there might be something positive to come out of it in that respect. Yeah, troubled Prithvi made him no, dance. Also, a bit. also, I my theory is that I think this two bouncer rules. I think some teams are doing it well with the slow bouncer, but I think just like impact player last year was, you know, it was there but not really well used. This year it's being really well used. I think we still haven't seen bowlers use the two-bouncer well enough. Mm. And I, I really enjoy it when in a T20 match, like in the IPL, you have a guy bounce and you know yeah. get in there and you know short yeah. third takes a catch. And I think yeah. there was real venom in that. Mm. And it's if you, because what now batters are doing it, they're walking into you almost immediately. Mm. Yeah. You know? And so if you have that ball and you can do that and give, have two and over. I think bowlers need to think about that a bit more than they are using that now. So they're both impressed with uh, Sandeep, and Sandeep looked like he's up for the battle because he's a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been very disappointed if I hadn't said that. 
I'm going to be very disappointed if I did a well left on that. Well, um, I'm, more, I'm more disappointed you did say it, actually, I think. Yeah. Yeah, are you? <laughs> um, I would have been, you would have been disappointed if I didn't disappoint you once at least in this show. <laughs> Who's, who's okay. playing mind games with who right yeah, now? Who's yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Delhi batters, let's have a look at them. The Delhi batters were not playing any mind games today. No. They were like, go out, get these runs quick. And you saw that. Frazier McGurk looked like he had a 10-15 train to catch, <laughs> right? And he wanted to finish the game by 9.45. And he almost did. He got 20 out of 10. Shea Hope as well. And that, that fifth over, the sixth over in the power play when he went... 6-4 and took me out of the guessing game. <laughs> yes. uh, he, he went really hard there I, as well. I did uh, Rishabh Pant. This was, I guess, again, we're, uh, we're, picking, we're picking at straws here. Like, there's, there's not much to discuss. <laughs> there's not much meat on the carcass that we're picking at. <laughs> yeah. 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 There really yeah, is. Yeah, there's meat, we need more meat in the kebab. But no, yeah. seriously, one good thing that Delhi did was, you know, they sent their two openers and Fraser Magak played like Fraser Magak plays. Mm. But also, you send in Abhishek Pur, like three, you know, he's your impact sub, and Shai Hope, both of whom are trying to establish their place in the team. Mm. Yeah. So, Pony would have told them, go give it a hit. So, they were, you know, they were up for it. Yep. Yeah. They didn't treat it as an easy total. They treated it as, I'm playing. I get a good 30-40 here. I have cemented my place in the side. Mm. Let me go for 30-40 in about 20-odd 20, 20 balls, 18-odd balls. And I think, therefore, the intent remained very strong from Delhi. Yeah. yeah, and it didn't matter that they lost wickets; they just kept going for it. Now, and I think that is important, and it's it's very much the hallmark of a Ricky Ponting team that mm. you know, press on the accelerator. If you've got your, you know, if you've got your foot in their throat, don't let go. And that's what Delhi did throughout. Yeah, yeah. and and if they get Warner back, uh, don't we don't know how bad the injury is, but if you get Warner back, immediate replacement for Shea Hope. Uh, Probably pay, you know, one, two, three is him, McGurk and, and Prithvi. You play them in whatever order. Is this 11 looking more settled to you, Gilly? Is this, is this an 11 you're okay with? Maybe get a foreign player in there. Uh, Lizard Williams, we haven't seen him. Get Anrik Nokia back if he's fit and he's okay because he is your re yeah. retained bowler. Yeah. Uh, just don't bowl him the 20th over. But does that, does that look like an 11 that, that you can get on board with? Yeah, definitely. Mm. It's... Uh, well, you know, a full uh, Indian bowling lineup, uh, so that allows you a bit more flexibility and room to move with your internationals. Mm. Uh, but that, you know, that right screen, screen there, the bowlers, uh, the, you know, the four at the top that play in yellow, uh, that they showed they flex their muscles today yep. and they redeem themselves because they've been, you know, the whipping boys of the tournament to this point, or certainly on a couple of occasions, and that's a big statement. By them, so yeah, I, I think that looks a a, a pretty yeah. well balanced uh, lineup. And now you've got Mukesh Kumar and uh, uh, Kuldeep back for two matches. They're also set. They're back yeah. in this thing. So they that they're missing them was also a huge thing for them because True. you can't miss a Kuldeep. Kuldeep is simply your best yeah. bowler at this point in time. Yeah. And Mukesh has done well for you today. Mukesh got three wickets. Kuldeep bowled beautifully. It's a different attack when those two are back. Yeah. It is, and it's a, it's a good Delhi team. That's what we've been saying, that they've just been affected by so many injuries, right? Mukesh and Kuldeep not playing, uh, Mitch. Mitchell Marsh getting injured and going away. So, so they were David Warner. They were, they, were get, they were getting affected by this a lot. But, of course, uh, you've got uh, everybody back. And if David Warner's fit, Mitchell Marsh, of course, is back in Australia. They haven't named a replacement for him yet. Uh, but he, I doubt if he's going to be coming back. So, uh, maybe they get a replacement for him. But right now, this is looking like a settled level. Look at Gujarat now. Because both of you uh, were saying that this, this, according to you, was not a balanced 11, perhaps. So, there's a little shot yeah. on batters. Joy, where would you, where, how would you like to see it? Look, it's a really tough one because the way they play their game, they want to play three bowlers and one international batter. Yep. And my sense is, I don't think their batting is strong enough. So, I mean, with, with, with a lot of regret, I take out Spencer Johnson, put in Omar Zai, because Omar Zai gives me, uh, he can definitely bowl, he can swing the ball around in the beginning, swings it both ways. He gives you a lot more with the bat. And I think at this point in time, that's more important to them. Uh, Sandeep Pauri has shown them something with the ball. So, I think that's not a bad sign at all. I would bring Omar Zai back, definitely. Okay. I just ask Omar you Zai for Spencer Johnson is my... Okay. Way. i just ask you one question, Gilly. Uh, you saw Saha today. Saha was not being able to connect at all mm. uh, up front. You, 
we saw him getting into some positions. It was yeah. some gully cricket swipes at, you know, at stuff. Uh, would you then say, and we only saw Matthew Wade one game, but would you say Matthew Wade at the top with uh, Shubman Gill would be a better call? Uh, yes, hmm. I think so. Uh, I mean, it's tough with, with uh, Saha being out, you know, first hit back. Uh, yeah. You know, maybe he, he certainly, you need a bit more of a sample size to know where he's at and, and how he's going. But so that would mean, so for Wade to come in, uh, what overseas are you leaving? You'll have out? to leave a bowler out. You'll have to leave, let's say, Spencer Johnson, Johnson out. out. Yeah, Get yeah. another bowler. See, their only gain today actually has been Sandeep Warriors looked yeah. impressive and someone you can play in the 11. Yep. Getting good bounce could trouble uh, the batter. So that's been the gain. So you say, all right. We've gained an Indian bowler today, so maybe okay. we can sacrifice an Indian batter and get a foreign batter. Yeah, look, my, my point is just that, that, you see, if you get Wade in, Wade is okay for me as a bat. Their problem is that their best keeper is Saha. They have a lot of trust with Saha the keeper, especially mm. with Noor and Rashid bowling. So they really like Saha behind the stumps. Okay. But if Saha's in the team, he can't bat anywhere else. Yeah. Saha is like Parthiv. So when you played Parthiv in the 11, in a IPL, you have to bat him in the top six. You yeah. can, I mean, bat him in the first six overs, power play. He will. He needs to go destroy whatever he can in the power play and come back. So that's their problem. They're being dictated by what Saha can do yeah. rather than what is best for the team. Yeah. But uh, is uh, do you see any other opener there though? Because Shubman and uh, Sai Sudarshan opened. They had two opening partnerships, which are decent. There was a 44 and a 54, all in the power play. But that's the problem. So not destructive. Like so it's, it's not a 70 run power play. A that, B is that. If Saha comes in, you can't bat him at three. You have to bat him. Mm. You have to open with him and hope that he gets going because he can't bat anywhere else. Yeah. It's like Sunil Narayan. If Sunil Narayan, of course, this year Sunil Narayan has proved that he can do a bit more than that. But if you're not using Sunil Narayan as opener, normally you can't play him. He's not going to be very situational. Mm. So you can't bat him at three, four, five or six for reacting to what's happening because he plays one way. I get it. So then you play him at eight. So that's their problem. And yeah. Saha, Rashid and you know, Noor feel that confidence in you know, he's a great keeper. You know, here's the thing, right? You're talking about just their batting not performing that well. But I'm going to spin it around and say how much are they missing Mohammad Shami? Because <sighs> you yeah. suddenly put Mohammad Shami in the bowling and your batters don't have to work that hard. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a, a fair call. There's no doubt about that. That's a, you know, we spoke Absolutely. about Delhi's injury issues and yeah. travails. That's a, that's a big blow, isn't it? A guy yeah. of that quality. Mm -hmm. um, you know, front line international... Yeah. So that that's a yeah it needs to be taken into consideration. But uh, I guess going back to the batting order, you know, I look down the list and I don't. If I'm an opponent, I'm seeing Shubman Gill and David Miller. Yeah. And other than that, You're I'm not, not losing much sleep. I'm yet. not really fearing someone's going to come out and you know play the innings that completely takes. It the game away, yeah. that, 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 you know, thrilling major contribution. Yeah. As you've mentioned a lot, we have today, Tawadia can, can do a job at, right at the end and, you know, he was reliable for them down in that finishing role but, and, and Rashid, but, yeah, I'm not... And then, you know, the, the three names in that batters list there that, that aren't in yellow, um, you know, Kane Williamson is one of the greats, you know, New Zealand's best ever, perhaps. Uh, in that conversation, in, in a, you know, had, had terrific uh, career in even in 50 over career, but T20 has never really been his mm -hmm. his standout format. Um, had some success with SRH, but uh, one season, 735 and one yeah, season, yeah. So never before, never after. So I don't I don't see it as a, a threatening batting lineup, whichever mm. lot they roll out. Yeah. He says a very important thing because you know that's exactly what uh, you think about when you're looking. He's looking at it as, a, as an opposing captain. Yep. From Great a captaincy point, point of view, who's, who am I scared of? Yeah. Who am I going to say, oh, hell, he's going to come in and smash me? Or he's set and this is trouble for me. And those are, they are the only two. Yeah, whereas when you look down batting lineups of other teams, even teams that are below them, uh, you, let's say you look at the Mumbai team, any of the top six can destroy you. Well, look at the GT's opponents today. So yeah. if you go down that list, just to use that example, Prithvi. Yep, he can he can do some damage. Fraser McGurk, yeah. uh, Warner when he's in there, if, if either of those two, uh, Bishop. 
uh, Rishab, yeah. Yeah. Tristan Stubbs has flexed his muscles a couple of times yeah. this tournament. Yeah. So there's four already, four, four to five. five. Four yeah. to five, um, really. And, and, and as you say, Perel and uh, Shy Hope had little cameos today. And, and, and I think that point about they just did whatever the team, they could have got selfish and tried to get add a few more to their own total off less balls and sort of say, oh, well, you know, I've made a bigger contribution, but they just did whatever was required for the team. And that was, mm. um, you know, almost kamikaze-like, but that's respect yeah, amongst your peers, yeah. amongst your coaching staff, but those teammates that you're sitting side by side with, it's just a little acknowledgement. Well done. Mm. Well, yeah, so some trouble for Gujarat and a very happy day uh, for Delhi. Where do Delhi go after this? Well, Delhi... Uh, will, of course, now play at Feroz Shakotla, finally. Right? It's a month into the tournament. Oh. And they finally, yes. Yeah, so they've only played their home games at Vishakapatnam down south. And now they go back uh, to Delhi. Uh, the pitch is ready there. The ground is ready. Well, uh, 20th, 24th, 27th. There's Hyderabad, Gujarat, and then uh, Mumbai. So they're going to be playing at Kotla. So we'll just have to wait and see how that pitch plays. Yeah. Uh, well, that's my problem with Delhi. Every year they go, they've played at Vizag before. Yeah. They really don't know this pitch very well. I mean, that's my problem. That Delhi, I mean, Fedor Shakotla has never been a ground that they could depend on. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit too paced. It's a bit too paced. Too faced. To too be like every, like everyone else in Delhi. <laughs> Sorry, too faced. You needn't get personal here. You just need to get personal. But no, seriously. I was going to go with it's Delhi. You never know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> that's true. It is true. But that's the point. That it is. It's never been. And if you look over the years. They've not had a great record at the Kotla. Yep. Because the ground has never given them, you know, the, the kind of game that they want to play. And I think this kind of, with the team they have, they have a great spin attack. I mean, they'll be hoping that it's, it suits spin better than... Yeah, you know. I was going to say, it, it was used heavily, wasn't it, through the women's yeah, the WPL, WPL. So, yes. it's always generally pretty barren there. So, a, a turning debt might work beautifully for but they yes, work Deep them. Aksha yeah. and maybe Tristan Stubbs has shown that he can yeah. do a little <laughs> job so they'll all be you know Warner will be rolling out his office soon but, yeah, yeah. but it's too small it's like yeah. RCB yeah. it's too small uh, it be, brings the opposition into play it's, yeah, <laughs> you can't yeah. get any advantage of any dimension any ground dimension it's just too much of a free hit I mean what do you do? You can't push the boundaries back um, into the Correct. grandstands. But, um, you know, I think it makes it an even bet quite often for because RCB, I don't think, have a winning percentage at home no, over no. the history of the tournament. So Or they don't. Yeah, or they. So, yeah, but it'll be uh, – but I, I think that's the, – the positive is the point made about the wicket might be a bit still tired from being overused, so mm. maybe it'll suit the slower – guys that little bit more and make them even more venomous. Yeah, they'd like that. They'd like that for sure. And yes, it's a small ground. It's like 30-yard circle, two steps boundary, two steps Yamuna, the, the river. It's <laughs> yeah. pretty a much right the there. stadium on the other, just behind. Yeah, and uh, you know, in that stadium, as in any other stadium, you can't push the boundaries. It's not Craig Bar's life. Oh, <laughs> well played, my boy. <laughs> I... I wanted to get a clever joke in so that, and I'm ruining it by saying it's a clever joke. Coming yeah. back to the points table, let's have a look at that. Happy days for Delhi. Delhi has jumped up to sixth position, so they'll be good with that. Mm. And Gujarat suddenly is looking at seven games and going, uh-oh. They will rue those two games that they really should have won, right? I mean, the chase against Lucknow, they're going to rue that game for sure. And they're going to say we could have really been up, uh, up above this, the world so high, but uh, yeah, right now... At the halfway stage, things are looking tricky for them. Uh, but for Delhi, uh, even though they're they're all at the same, they're at the same points. But Delhi, of course, much more positive right now. Uh, you know, with how it's gone today, and their net run rate also is almost now scratch. Mm. Right, it's it's essentially minus 0 0.07, so it's almost scratch. Uh, good, so, that's a good fight back from yeah. where their net run rate was. Yeah, from nine to six is not a bad jump for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. That, that net run rate, that's a big recovery. Yeah, so today has been a really, really good day uh, for Delhi. It was a good day for some cool moments as well, if you were a Delhi fan. These are our carrier room air conditioners. Coolest moment of the match. We all have one. I think we all just may have the same one. Are we just all going with Rishabh's catch? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, no further. Yeah. I mean, from 
left-handed wicketkeeper. I didn't expect anything else anyway. So, <laughs> but for young youngster of the club must be supported. But yeah, looking as a fan as well. Yeah, yeah, but I'll go with one more since we have Oh, to nice. Have one more, yeah. I like it. Sumit Kumar. Single stump, hits it. Mm. It's a really important, in, the, in that state of the game, having that run out, it was, you know, it just, already you've just lost Shubman Gill. That just turned the scale so much. And I think that uh, they could never recover from that. Gujarat could never recover from that. Mm. So Sumit Kumar, because really fielding, we've seen great, uh, some excellent uh, fielding in the boundary. Yeah. Okay, we've seen some good catches. But these run out, these direct hit run outs, we haven't seen too many of. So this is the first I really liked. So yeah. Yeah, my, actually, that. mine is also with Sumit, but only when they showed him on the big screen, he looked like the uh, kid <laughs> with his hand in the cookie jar. Just looking at the big screen and going, why am I on the big screen? Am I in trouble? What did I do? <laughs> he looked he, he looked like a pitching yeah. waiter. He was really, looking really lost. That was quite sweet. Uh, but just to tell you that Rishabh Pants also won uh, the player of the match, oh. which I think is quite amazing, but for his wicket keeping. Yeah. And you'd just give him to him for that one catch. Yeah, that's right. The wicket keeping, well, the catch, the stumpings, yeah. slogged a few there at the end, got the toss right. Led well, bowling changes, mm. everything turned to gold today. About time the wicket keepers were acknowledged. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. absolutely, that's fantastic. That's, that's why we have you here to just you know, sing a few uh, songs of praise about them. But for people who missed it, there was uh, Gilly said something amazing in the mid-show of why that catch would be so difficult. The catch of David Miller. For people who had missed that, uh, the cost of repetition, please. Yeah, yeah. A right arm around the wicket bowler bowling to a left-hand bat. So the. You know, you're in your keeping stance, the ball's coming on an angle, everything's angling that way to your right. So it comes in, it, it, it comes in and beats the inside, well it didn't beat the inside edge, catches the inside edge. So you naturally go that way, all your weight's on your right and then you've got to sharply, once it flicks Miller's back thigh and go back to your left hand side. And you've got to have a good strong sturdy base, your technique needs to be right. If you're up too high, you're going to find it really hard to, to lunge back the other way with any real authority or power. So, perfect. Good technique, um, good intent. Cool day for him. Yeah, very, very cool day. We've got a few in on social media as well. People gave us their cool moments. Let's have a look at them. What do we got? Okay. St mm -hmm. oh, this is, yeah, the stubs over. How do you forget that one? Uh, Maestro Manohar. Stubbs twin strikes in one over, especially that uh, lucky stumping of Shah Rukh's is probably the coolest moment of the match. Kudos to Pant uh, for giving the ball to him. Just on Pant's captaincy as well. Yep. It was it was great today. It was just a plus plus day for him, isn't it? But just everything he was doing was just great. No, I was just checking one thing. That Manohar was basically applauding the gentleman out there was a Mr. What? Ma Maestro Manohar. Yeah. Was applauding a Manohar dismissal. I yeah. mean, is he going against his own clan or what? That's right. There was a Abhinav Manohar dismissal in that yeah, over he, as well. He, yeah, that was a stumping. Yeah. And Shah Rukh mm. was also the stumping. Yeah. yeah. Shah Rukh and Manohar were both stumping. So, Manohar, <laughs> applauding a Manohar getting out is something I don't understand. It's but not cool. I, it's <laughs> That's not cool, man. I'm striking you from the Manohar register, maestro. <laughs> All right, let's see who our next one is coming from. Uh, we can just put that up as well. Uh, made an overpower play by, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, by Khalil. His second, Mitesh. Mm. That's his second maiden in the power play in seven games. So, uh, that's pretty cool as well. Do we have another one? We got one more. Bring it. Let's see. Lightning quick twin stumping by the skipper. Okay, now we're just repeating ourselves. But yeah, yeah. Aryan uh, Borkar, well done, uh, Aryan. That is also a good one. So it's Rishabh Pant. Rishabh Pant, basically, we'll just have to call this Rishabh Pant Day because that's what it's been. Mm -hmm. So it's been a pretty cool day for him. But those were our carrier room air conditioners, coolest moment of uh, the match. A lot of coolness for them. All right, let's have a look at what's happening tomorrow. There's a game happening tomorrow. Yes, it is Punjab playing Mumbai. Now, if we look at the points table, this is of oh, course yeah. happening uh, in Chandigarh. Yeah, you like it? Oof. That's in in the words of uh, in the words of Jim Carrey. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say something really original that hasn't been said ever on this show. What? Big match. <laughs> <laughs> Important match. Uh, Almost, you could almost put a line through Mumbai if they lose this one. Ooh. Two and four. 
Well, they're two and four at the moment. They're two and they, four at the moment. They lose this one tomorrow. Yeah, two and five tomorrow. At the halfway point, two wins. That'd be that'd be tough trucking from there. So, uh, it's yeah. I mean, the so, numbers there explain themselves. One second. So for one of them, yeah, because they see they're identical. Yeah, the net run rate is almost. Yeah, identical. well, that's a fair point. That's a, a fair point. Yeah. Maybe it was my f- sort of red Punjabi colouring <laughs> from three <laughs> years, but uh, but yeah, no, that's a fair point. Red or blue. Whatever yeah. team you're on, you need your team to win. Basically, because if your team loses tomorrow, that's right. As, yeah. as Gilly said, tough trucking from there. I like that phrase. Yeah. I like it, tough trucking. Exactly. They, it's basically, it's a Titanic. It's sinking. There's a lifeboat. There's one seat out there. <laughs> the other guys have to go, has to hold on to the side and hope <laughs> that he stays on. <laughs> so <laughs> so one team tomorrow. Here, aren't we? <laughs> I like it. So one team tomorrow is going to be Rose. Yeah. The other one's going to be Jack. Yeah. And tomorrow's match or the win is that plank of wood <laughs> that separates you from drowning, from floating. Who does the advantage lie with is the question. We'll also have a look at the teams. I can guarantee you pretty much that with Mumbai, we've been harping on it that they've got their 11 in place. I don't think they're going to make a change to this, right? Thing. It's unlikely because there's nothing I can see out there which makes a huge difference to their lives. The only thing you have to ask yourself is, uh, uh, they gave Shreyas Gopal a game and I thought he was quite okay. He wasn't that Well, he bowled the one over in the yeah. previous game yeah. because of Shivam Dubey, they didn't let him come back. Yeah, exactly. So my point is that this is, a, this is as good and it's a powerful batting lineup you know, with Nabi coming in somewhere at 7, 8, you know. you. You know, yeah, eight. Nabi and Shepard are seven and eight, yeah, whichever order. Yeah, seven yeah. and eight, and that that gives you a lot of batting. There's a lot of power there. The thing is that when Surya gets going, it's it's literally the matches he's got going, they've got going. When he's not got going, as happened in the last match, you know, that's the thing that his ability to change matches is so much. Sometimes I feel they're still over dependent on him. Mm. But uh, this is a very powerful side which is still not firing on all cylinders. Yeah, and. It's it, but it's still you see it on paper. You still look at it and wonder how can this team be two and four? But yeah, they are. yeah. Do you do you do you feel that? And we've spoken enough about matchups, and Simon Duell has yep. spoken enough about matchups as well, and how much he dislikes them. In the last match, do you think strategically they got it wrong by not bowling Shreyas Gopal in front of Shivam Dubey? They almost like gave their hand away. He's hitting the quicks as well, yep. so it's not like he's sparing anyone else. But because they only bowled in the one over, he kind of got stuck in the end for lack of options. Yep. Yeah, I think uh, you know, easy game later on, but I think that that was obvious through that innings that it, just the option was there. You don't pick a guy uh, and and just don't back him. I think that's as much as anything the message you're sending to that player is like, sorry, I don't don't back you in this contest, and and that that's not a great confidence builder. I think there's a lot around uh, that, the captaincy of Hardik Pandya as, as it still settles, all the, the white noise around the outside, but his learnings of, well, as a captain, a new franchise, it's an old franchise for him by way of returning, but taking on the leadership, um, I, I thought, and Harsha made a point um, to me a couple of days after that game or a day after that game, and I felt it at the time too, just little nuances, I thought when, in that run chase when the wicket fell and he himself went in, Hardik Pandya, maybe that was the Tim David moment. Okay. Just to give him a fraction more because he he has been hitting it quite well, Tim David, and, and Hardik sort of hasn't been at his level. Of, so just on form. Yeah, Yeah. just just a little instinct thing. But you know, having said that, Hardik, with bad end ball, tried to walk straight at the fire. He didn't try and run away from it or the heat yeah. of battle. Credit to him for that. But uh, I think his captaincy is going to keep evolving and learning and, and as everything settles. So he'll probably get a little bit more confident in making the right calls in those sort of 50-50 moments. Yeah, so maybe maybe that one change. Uh, or otherwise, play Shreyas, because the other option I think they have is Piyush Chavla. So you play Shreyas, Gopal, and you're backing him, uh, then just kind of throw the ball uh, at him a little more. Can you remind me, I'm trying to think what the structure was with their impact player in that game against. They uh, bowled Surya, first. Uh, so they, yeah, they bowled first. Uh, they uh, yeah, Akash, Surya, Madwal, Akash Madwal and Surya, I think, was a swap, was that? Yeah. 
Yes, Madhavi Akash Madhwal yeah. would have gone out and Surya would have come in. No, yeah. Surya who wasn't right, okay. Yeah, so Surya was no. not... Uh, yeah, was no, not I think they'll go. I, I don't think... Similar they, yeah, because I think he's just fielding. He's had that operation and all that. So I think they just want to yeah. protect him in the field. No, that's fine. I, and I think... I, I, again, we, we can only speculate not knowing all fine detail. But if everyone's fit and everyone's fine and, and conditions are pretty normal up there... You, I, I'd be tempted as team management to go, go again, guys. I'm backing you in. Let's, yeah. We're sticking with you. Yeah. We've really fine line that we missed out against one of the most dangerous teams around and, and high quality operations around, organisations around. I'm backing you in here. Hmm. Punjab, let's have a look at their team and see if they would make any changes. They need, they need a lot of stuff here. Uh, to come good. Their captain, of course, didn't play the previous game. Mm. Uh, don't know if we... Well, I, I think, I don't think he's... They, from whatever I hear, he's probably may not be fit tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I read somewhere that maybe yeah, a week probably may not be or fit so. Tomorrow as well. Maybe a week, so then he won't yeah. play that game as well. But otherwise, do you see any... Uh, do you see any changes happening? See, there? my point is that they're playing Ashutosh Sharma as a sub. I think he deserves to go, go into that first six. Yeah. Uh, he definitely deserves to bat out there. I think the big thing is... Really, uh, their international batters are not giving them enough. Mm. And I think that's one of the worries that they have. That basically, Bearstow and Livingston have to do it for them. I think Rabada is bowling as well as he has. I think Ashtip is fine. I think their bowling is much more settled than it was. And I think Karan is giving them a little bit more with the ball than he was giving them last year. My problem is basically, I think Bearstow and Livingston is where they are stuck at. No. And I'd Livingston's just back from injury, isn't he? But Riley Rousseau's the one that yeah, exactly. That's on that the one that's that might, might be in there. Yeah, yeah. You like yeah, you like the look. I mean, the thing is, Johnny Best was a gun player, and all these internationals are really gun players. But Gilly, I guess the tough one becomes you've paid big money, you've thought of them in their eleven, but I think we've seen with other teams as well now, nothing's holding anymore, right? You're like, oh, it's no. not working. You got to go. RCB had well over half their purse on the bench. Yeah. Yes. Yep, and well over. <laughs> Scored yeah, 280 right. against him, but yeah. <laughs> didn't help, did it? But, uh, but yeah, no, you're right. It's uh, I th well, the halfway point of the tournament, Is as you say, it's the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you've got, you got to try and stay alive. Yeah, so it might, be, it might be time that they make that call, which would be a hard call on... on because of all the reasons that, but any international player really that gets left out is it's a tough call because we know they're in the IPL because they're talented, yeah. skillful players. Yeah, but yeah, I guess if you're not winning, then changes I yeah. guess have to happen. So uh, maybe, maybe we see uh, that one happening. Otherwise, uh, it's not really. Is the fact is that the batters are all again. We talk about X factor batters. There's enough in there. I think the one thing they have to do is just give Ashutosh more of a chance again on form. Yeah, absolutely. Shrank and Ashutosh. The other thing is that really, Prop Simran, I think in that three position. Uh, he's He's been a bit hit and miss and I would be really tempted if I have a good international batter if, say, Riley Russo came in to give him a position of three and give him a lot more balls to face. Fair point, but what if what if you say, all right, Prabh Simran, we've given you your chances. It's not come through. We've got Ashutosh who's in great form and just getting like 20 balls to back at the back. Put him in at number three. He's, he's your, in, in terms of in form, he's your most in form Indian batter. Yeah. Why not just throw him up and let him come at three? Do you think that'd be just too much for... I don't think so. Oh, I wouldn't think so. Oh, worth a shot. Worth yeah. a shot. My, my point is all these boys are international. I mean, Ashutosh bats for the railways. He bats pretty high for the railways. Yeah. So I think give back the players. I think what's happening is Prabh Simran is, has got one decent knock. But otherwise, he's eating a lot of balls. And this format, now the way this game is played, in the first six, you can't afford batters to eat balls. That's true. That's yeah. my only problem. So... You never know. Maybe. 10 or 14 in the last match. I mean, that's the kind of thing. 10 or 14 means that's two, almost two and a half overs of your power play gone for 10 runs. Yep. yep. So yeah, that costs not... you as a team. Well, that's... particularly against Mumbai, where you yeah. know one of those overs is probably going to be Boomerah. So <laughs> the other five, you're going to have to capitalise on because that over is going to be really hard. Than, yeah, to... That one's going Effectively, to be you've only got 16 overs <laughs> yeah. to yeah. score. Yeah, yeah. yeah you've got five yeah. power play overs yeah. and 16 in total. In total. <laughs> You never know. Maybe it's the guy from the railways who can get Punjab's batting yeah. back on, on track. the track. Oh, <laughs> I could see that from a, from a distance. But you could you see it coming it. like the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> yep. Is the train? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That's the one.
We saw it. All right, uh, that's all. Uh, we have time for a couple of things to go yet. Hang on. We've got the joy factor, question and answer. But before that, have you... Oh, have we? We did applaud for him. How many times have we can do it? Right, let's no, applaud. We... Adam Gilchrist is finally off the mark in the guessing game. It is a big day. This is the longest Gilly has ever taken to get off the mark. <laughs> <laughs> Previously, it was three minutes. Right? I don't think you've ever taken more than three minutes. I would like to see the scoreboard. I just want to see it. <laughs> can, we, can we get that up? Is that yeah. possible? Ooh. Yes. Here we go. Oh, there you go. Look out, Vorny. I'm coming after you, mate. <laughs> I think you're going to get Vorny. I think one more. You'll get Vorny, Batavia, Shami, yeah. Arsha. Okay. Even Lisa. Oh, Maybe wow. Rohan. <laughs> yeah, I've done the math. You're here tomorrow. Yes. Yep. If you can get one out of the two yep. correct tomorrow. You'll go straight to Simon. Yeah. You could, you could go above. No, no, okay, that's too much. <laughs> it's not going to go straight to Simon. It's not going to jump from 8 to 25. You'll have to get both correct to go ah, there. That's true. That's, right. one, that's a challenge. You'll do it. Yeah. Uh, I won't be here to supervise it, <laughs> but I'll text you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just don't go with whatever I say because I've got both wrong today. So <laughs> don't go with what I say. Ah, there good. you go. Adam Gilchrist climbing up uh, the charts there. Oh, before I round off for the previous game, player to watch out for, for Punjab and for Mumbai? Uh, for uh, Mumbai, I have to say Surya has to get going. So he has to get going, he has to keep, for it's very important and him scoring runs, he's a talisman for the team, it changes the team's fortunes as well. And for Punjab, uh, I, I'm, I'm really, I think Arshdeep needs to just keep getting wickets. Upfront wickets is going to be very important to get somebody like a powerful batting side like this thing. So Arshdeep and Surya for me. Yeah, but he does alternates anyway, right? It's like 0, 100, <laughs> 0, 100. So, so he did 0, he did a big score, then he did 0, so. Yeah. You know, it's like, uh, I'm, oh yeah, duck, I'm oh. Hoping I'm oh, hoping for the oh. sign curve to go up again. There you go, it's going to go up. For you? Yeah, the for two? Mumbai, I'm really keen to watch the man under the microscope, Hardik Pandya, um, okay. in every facet. Uh, and I think Harsha was, might have said, a captain, a good captain as two players yeah. in, in, t in 2020 career. But at the moment, Hardik's trying to be three players, three players mm. um, and it's a hard challenge. So uh, I'm really... In, enthralled about how he rebounds. Yep. Um, so that'll be a, a really worthwhile watch. And you named him Ashutosh. I, I, I think that you may well be onto something there, Joy. Punjab might say, right, we're going to back in our, our bloke that's sort of been consistent and showing glimpses of being able to tear it apart. So bring it on for him. Okay, well, so uh, our Joy Factor question is something that only Joy can decode for us, and luckily we have him here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what connections does Australian consumer electronics company set up by the Chinese immigrant have with international cricket? Well, the company in the org was named after the original founder. It was called Bing Li. And that's how Brett Lee got its nickname, Binga, from Bing Li, the Australian superstore. Yeah. And that's a connection with cricket, of course. Uh, very interestingly, I think uh, Bingley sponsors a lot of Australian rules football, but no, no cricket. Not involved in, in cricket. They should Bingley, actually. The, given... the retail outlet, but you're, you're spot on. It was, it's a big brand in Australia, certainly on the East Coast. And that's exactly where uh, Binger got his nickname from. Mm. He told me that story, but I still know the answer. <laughs> Because the question is just so decoded. <laughs> if you just asked, how did Brett Lee get his nickname? I would have told you. But you just want to grab the ear like this from under the knees. Just <laughs> These guys are too good. It's not my fault. I'm the guy sitting out there. They, they type out the answers too fast. I just want to tell Gilly that most of these answers is joy from his other accounts. <laughs> Look, if I was that good at social media, life would have been very different. Did we get positive results? In? We did. Um, we yeah. did. In winner? all the joy factor questions that I think I've asked over five years, I think there was twice missed. Otherwise... The toughest questions have got answered. Yeah, twice that clever, nobody. Clever got. audience, our audience. Yeah, oh, yeah, just very twice clever. missed. Oh, clever audience. So very clever. All seven of you. <laughs> Let's see the answer. <laughs> after an, after an eighty nine run match, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah you love yeah. that humor. Rishi Thank Rukiana, you. congratulations to Rishi. Well done. Well done. Uh, first one to get the correct answer in. All right, excellent. I think we're done. That's it. With All right. Let me just have a look. We've done the preview. We've done the jokes. We've done the dad jokes. You've got a com box left. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought we'll so. go back. We'll go downstairs we'll and do it now. later. We'll do, we'll do the little. 
Didn't do the Tenho update. I don't think we can get our money yet, so we may have to do that. <laughs> Tough bosses here. Well, big thank you to Adam Gilchrist and Joe Bhattacharya. Thank you, gents. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you. you. And uh, in case you are uh, following Gilly's social media and wondering what a Hindi song is doing mm. on his Instagram story Ooh. and post, it was I. <laughs> along with our producer, Kalol, who chose that for him. So just in case you expect him to start singing a Hindi song tomorrow, <laughs> you're off the hook. No, that's right. I had to outsource to a very reliable IT expert in your good self, and you helped me out just to Thank announcing you. something about my podcast for tomorrow. There you go. You and you've got to catch that podcast tomorrow because it's big. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got a big night coming up because we haven't finished this early in a really long time. So let's just go and, like, break a few bottles or something. I don't know. We're going to do something. Just... Just can't handle this. It's just too exciting. Well, I'm Gaurav Kapoor. You were watching Crick Buzz Live. Thank you so much. We'll see you at 7 o'clock tomorrow. Do join us then for Mumbai versus Punjab. As Gilly says, it's going to be a big match. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bye, 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 Bye